Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very interesting unboxing, something that came in from Flytanium. Let's take a look. I kind of have an idea what this is and I'm pretty excited about it. Today I'm opening up with my Wii Knives uh, Evoke. It's a beautiful black titanium. So let's take a look inside. And I think, yeah, it's a box within a box. All right, so we have another box here. So let's take a look at that. Oh, we got a scale. We have a knife. Okay, no paperwork. Very good. All right, so here we go. So this is a scale that goes with this knife. Let's take a look at this while we're at it. This is the Arcade Flytanium. It's one of their own first knives. But the cool thing with this is, it's a shark lock technology. So this is a uh, collab with Andrew Demko. But uh, Flytanium is the one that put this together. So let's take a look. You can see a little picture of that. All right, so we got a nice little sticker. Very cool. We got a nice cloth here, very nice little or bag. Let's see what we got. Now notice it does come with some G10 scales, which I thought it did, and then I've got some metal scales there that I'm going to try as well. All right, so we're going to put that and save the sticker because I love stickers on my st wall of stickers. We'll put this over there out of the way. So here is the knife. This is it's going to be in aluminum scales. So this is like. Um, I want to say it's uh, anodized or coated with a gray kind of coating. You have a deep pocket carry clip, and I'm pretty sure that's a metal one. Yeah, it's a metal one. I'd like to get a steel one. I mean, a titanium one, because I'm afraid I'm going to bend that. But it is a captive pivot, which is very cool. It's got uh, thumb studs. It looks like replaceable. Very cool. Um, you have a little priority for a lanyard hole. A little sharp, but that's all right. Edges are very sharp all the way around. I would like to chamfer that down. That's pretty Pretty rough there on the edges, huh? Man, that is really, really sharp. I don't know if I like that. That's a bummer. All right, well, I don't know if I got, everyone seems to love theirs, but I don't know if everyone has the super, super sharp edges like this. I, I mean, let me just show you how sharp that is. I can scrape my nails, right? So you can scrape nail off with those edges. That's how sharp it is. I don't know if that's supposed to be that sharp. I'll have to ask them. And this is a micarta inlay. Not a super fan of it, so what I did get, and we'll put this in here in a second, once we take a look, I got these titanium inlays that I want to put in. And I'll see what they look like. Let's see, kind of take a little look. Yeah, I think that looks pretty, that'll look pretty cool. All right. I don't know if this was chamfered, I sure hope so. We'll find out. All right, so this is a shark lock. It looks very similar to my Andrew Demko. Almost feels exactly the same. Let's give it a flip here. All right. All right. So the only thing some people complain is there's not a whole lot of resistance for like the flip. So what they sometimes call detent, it's not real strong there. So I, I will admit it doesn't feel super strong on the detent. That's for sure. And that is a little bit of a bummer. But you know, it still works. It's very much like a typical shark lock. This is, uh, I believe, S35. Yeah, S35 VN blade steel. Kind of a nice drop point with a nice swedge on top. Has a pretty good thick thickness on the blade. Pretty sharp, very long edge. Let's take a look at that edge. All right, so that's pretty consistent on this side. Pretty consistent. Yeah, it's got, got a little flattening going on there. Looks like they kind of didn't perfectly round it. You can see that. It's, that's all right, though. I mean, that's pretty pretty good price knife for what you get. I am just really disappointed with the sharp edges. That is just... That's just really insane, okay. I don't know if that's intentional. That bugs me a little bit because that's gonna be uncomfortable. Especially, yeah, especially when I'm gripping on here. I'm definitely gonna be sharp. Not a big fan of that. I'll have to ask him about that. Hopefully we, hopefully I get to do a review and I'm not gonna send this back because of that because that's kind of a bummer, right? Anyways, very cool. I like the edge. Comes to a pretty thin edge, especially with that long edge on there. Definitely very sharp, that's nice. It's got some great jimping on top. Reminds me a lot of my Andrew Demko. So that's kind of cool. So you can do that, right? And then you have the thumb studs. Yeah, I guess I can do a middle finger reflick. Yep, sure can. Middle finger flick as well. Yep, absolutely. So I've got multiple ways to deploy this, which is really cool. Uh, I do like the deep pocket carry clip. It's not reversible. I sure wish it was. And let's see, what do we have in here? Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a place for the screw there. We do have a place for the screw over there. That's interesting. So there's a hole on this side. So 
it looks like it could be drilled for reverse carry. So I wonder if you asked them if you wanted a lefty, if they would just drill the hole, because there's already a hole in the scale for the clip to fit on that side, and it's a pretty uniform scale, so it should replace. So that's something I'll have to ask them about. Very interesting. All right. Very cool blade. I like the stone wash, which can definitely cover up a lot of abuse on there. So action's pretty good. I mean, the, the size is great. I just wish it wasn't so sharp. I really got to ask about that because, you know, because it's coated, I'm definitely going to want to soften those edges down quite a bit. Not quite a bit, but at least somewhat because that is just really crazy sharp there. I'm not a big fan of that. But um, I just don't want to ruin the, the, the um, finish that's on there, right? Uh, but before I even consider doing something like that, I gotta make sure I wanna keep it and find out if this is an exception. Maybe, maybe they made a mistake, but maybe this is part of the cost cut, cut uh, co cost savings, right? Is, you know, doing the extra little steps for a little chamfering, a little rounded corners, that does cost a lot of extra money, and that's where you can save some money in production, manufacturing quality, you know, it does take time off the machining. Uh, let's look at this, is it pretty centered? It is a little off to the left, so it's not quite centered. Yeah, it's definitely, little to the left there we'll have to see if we can center that as well so yeah interesting knife I, I was pretty excited everyone talked really greatly about it it's a few things i'm not a big fan of i think okay so that's like your typical shark log i think that's going to be the same one that's in in my andrew demko uh, 80 20.5 so it just looks like it different kind of scales a different blade this is like a drop point I don't think it's the exact same one I'm gonna take a look and compare it real quick let me grab that we're gonna grab that out of the case here real quick and compare that just for giggles so very similar uh, a little thinner on top looks like the blade stock might be yeah, definitely a little thinner on this side the thumb studs are definitely smaller on here that's for sure. This is the S35BN2, so you can definitely see the same type of finish. Looking at the uh, the jimping on there, that looks very similar there, I would say, and there as well. So I think that's pretty going to be pretty close. So that makes me wonder if it uses the same washers too. So we'll have to take that apart again if we keep this knife. We'll definitely take it apart and, and take a look at that before I do any sort of a any sort of swap of the scales at this point. So I'm going to have to, you know, we'll make that swapping of the scales in part two before we do anything because I I want to check in with them on this because this is, that is just, uh, that is just ridiculously sharp. You know, you shouldn't be able to shave my nails, you know. I can file down the nails because it's so sharp there. That is one of those little things that, to me, is, is a miss because it feels like it was a little softer here, but definitely not here. So I don't know if that's just a miss on the milling or what, but I'm going to ask because you got this nice chamfering going on here, and it feels like you should just a quick buff, just a buff around here before you do any sort of anodization, I think. But, oh well, I am not the manufacturer here, so uh, just my personal preference. And, you know, as a consumer, I can have my preferences, whether... They think it's valid or not, that's certainly up to them, but we got a little blade. Is it centering up a little bit better now? Nah, it's still a little bit to the left. It's ever so slight to the left, for sure. And it's just enough to be annoying, for me at least. So I'll, I'll have to see if we can center that. I don't like a non-centered blade. That is a little OCD thing that I do not care for. So hopefully, let's see, is it locked in there pretty good? It is locked in there pretty good. Yeah, it's in there pretty good when it's in. So it's very similar to this too, right? Because it does the same when you get up here. It's nice and in. Yeah, so there we go. Looks like it might be the same type of washers, I'm pretty sure. And that means I would have to order some from Skiff. Because I definitely put in my Skiff washers for sure. Again, assuming I can get this nice and finished here. So anyways, um, we will we will check with them first before we do anything else here. I'm going to check to see if uh, this is normal, and if it is, and this would be accepted, then maybe I've got to weigh in whether I want to keep it, or if I want to kind of soften those edges because they're pretty sharp. And then we'll kind of have a little, little discussion about that, and maybe there'll be a part two. So I'm going to finish this video here. If it finishes and you see the credits, that means I'm done. If you don't, then it, you won't see the credits, all right? So...
All right, I'm back. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. I wasn't really too happy about the edges, but I may try to soften those just because they're so sharp. I really wanted to try that on. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I think this is, I think this looks a little like a bigger pivot. Yeah, this is a T10, but I do think all of these guys are just T6s. Yeah, and those are T6s, which is unfortunate, but you know, that's, it is what it is. So let's get into this. Go ahead and see what we got here. The springs. And do we have them? Yeah, we sure do. They are the same washers, so I need to get a pair of those for sure. So let me get my cloth here and see if I can clean these and all. All right, we'll go ahead and put these back together and get a little oil. So I'm going to leave the open A part of the, the cage facing away. All right, so one of these is captive. There we go. I think a couple of them are captive. So what I mean by captive, as you see, it's flat on one side like that. Oh, let me put the... Uh... Oh, I was afraid of doing that, losing the spring. This is a captive one. Oops, sorry. I hit the camera. No. We'll put a little oil in here as well. I like some of that heavier gauge oil in there. Hmm. That seemed to straighten up. Okay, that's in there solid. Is it centered? Pretty close, pretty close. All right. Are these the same length? Let's just make, make double double check. Yeah, they are. I think we're centered. This is a bit with the titanium uh, inlays on there. So that's pretty cool. I, think I do like that a lot better than the micarta ones. Don't get me wrong, I know some people really love the micarta, and that's fine. You know, you can love the micarta. You even have G10 here, which is cool. So the one thing I do want to grab is polishing stone because I want to try something don't know how this is going to work but we're going to try this a little bit here start off with 600 grit see how it goes so this is really sharp and I want to see if this is even possible Let's see if it ruins it I'm probably going to expose some of that Aluminum underneath. It's just so darn sharp. Yeah, I am exposing some of that titanium, but you know what? That's all right, because I've got all this other steel showing. Don't think it looks horrible. It's certainly more comfortable than the sharp edge. 
I do wish they would knock that down because that's very disappointing, I gotta tell you. Definitely my biggest gripe for such a really fun knife. All right, that's really all I needed. It was so sharp on the edge. I mean, you can definitely see a little polish mark there, but I gotta tell you, that alone is way more comfortable. Yeah, right there. And I'm okay with that, because I have the polish look. Now, if this was black scales, this would absolutely not work. I would be absolutely frustrated, because I couldn't fix it. But this you can kind of get away with, because you're exposing a similar Kind of color as the, the steel, the, the lock bar, the shark lock mirror, the shark lock mechanism, if you will. And so you kind of get away with that, I think. And uh, it just kind of looks like maybe normal wear. And that's what the way I would treat it as, just normal wear. So there you go. That's the, that's the way I look at it. So, all right. Well, that's it. All right, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I think I was also able, after putting the scales on, I think you can see that the, it is, uh, is it centered? Mm, it was centered, I thought. All right, so we're gonna have to do a little centering. Let's try that. That's frustrating. All right, it's okay. That's what we're here for. So what I do is I'm gonna loosen the scales and then I'm gonna loosen the pivot. I'm going to put this in there. Let me just do that first. All right, so I'm going to put this in there. Put that in like that. So now the first thing I do is I tighten up the pivot. I kind of make that a little, little tight, okay? And then we tighten up the the screws and I take out that and then we can loosen up the pivot a little bit okay so that pivot is a little tight still a little tight Blade rock. Let's see. There we get it. Uh, we're real close. No, I think we got it. I do believe we're centered. Okay, so it works just like a traditional centering. Um, yeah, I will say this is too sharp, and I do hope they fix that. This is like a first run. I hope they buff that out. See, they know how to do it because you look at this. It's all nice and soft and rounded right here which is what you would love to feel all the way around here. And I'm just kind of surprised they didn't finish that. Now, I guess they get that because that really digs in your hand and that would be really uncomfortable. Maybe they didn't feel this was important, but uh, yeah, that's really disappointing, this part right here. That's way sharper than it is. Still pretty aggressive, no chamfering. I mean, this is technically a chamfer here, but boy, they really need to chamfer those edges. It's just really sharp. How's it holding up? still centered yep we are all right good all right so you will see this right here and this and I believe since it's aluminum scale this would wear in after a while and the fact that I want this to be more of a hard use knife so I'm okay with that I like this the steel pocket clip but I would very much like to see if there's another titanium clip I could put on there I think that would be really nice so I'm gonna go measure that so what we'll do is we'll get the caliber All right, so that's going to be 
we were 0.32 inches for dead center. Okay, 0.32 inches for dead center. So I need something that's 0.32 inches apart. So I've got to measure that and see if there's any clips out there that would work with that. I'm very curious. For instance, like I have an atom, and I wonder if the atom clips would work. That always makes me wonder. Oops, knocking over boxes over here, sorry. Kind of curious if that clip would be the same width. So that's at 0.32 inches, right? Oh, see, that's 0.284. So that's much closer, I think. It seems similar, but it's not quite. And that one lays in. Yeah, so. Pretty cool, though. I do like that. I like the fact that I can change those out, too, but I think I like the titanium skills a lot better on this. There you go. All right. So, hey, if you found this interesting, informative, um, worthwhile, entertaining, just something that really maybe helped you out, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button down below? And, uh, you know, uh, if you've already subscribed, maybe consider hitting the, uh, oh, sorry, hit the like button. And if you've already hit, hit the like button, maybe hit subscribe. Subscribing and liking the channel really helps me out a lot allows me to produce more content, do more things. And if you've already done all of that, maybe hit your notification button so you can be notified of future content. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys doing that. If you've done all that, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.